very committed lady engaged in social service and family work. In spite of her busy schedule, she has taken up the responsibility to build the Calcutta chapter to great heights. Let us all welcome the president of MILK, Calcutta chapter, Miltonian Pooja Bajaj. Good evening, Miltonians. Good evening, a dashing bunch of new Miltonians. And good evening to our special guests. It's such a special and joyous evening for all of us today. As you all, MLC 46, you complete your training and now you're part of our esteemed MILT fraternity. So congratulations to each one of you and a warm hug from the entire Kolkata chapter. Let's have a big round of applause. As it happens with any organization, any organization, new entrants bring with them a whiff of freshness and energy, enthusiasm. So you, my friends, have done just that. Three cheers once again. Let's have a big round of applause. So as I see your smiling and happy faces in front of me, it takes me down memory lane to my own time, 2017. I was experiencing a turmoil of emotions, a feeling of joy, sense of achievement, of course, an overdose of energy, but at the same time, butterflies in my stomach. I'm sure each one of you may be having the same kind of emotions. So why not enjoy, live your moment, enjoy each moment. After all, you have earned this evening, my friends, after a month of hard work. I'm sure Danny must have given you a difficult time at times. But now, he's more of a trainer, so you don't need to worry about him. <laughs> so, just a few lines in Hindi. Badi khubsurat hai, aaj ki ye sham. Badi khubsurat hai, aaj ki ye sham. Kyunki, apne hasil ki hai, har mushkil aur ye mukam. हर लम्हे को भरपूर ले लो मजा हर लम्हे का भरपूर ले लो मजा व्हाट वाज इट वेट हर लम्हे का भरपूर ले लो मजा जिससे जिससे दुगनी हो जाए ये शाम और ये फिजा नाउ यू गाइस माइट आस सो नाउ व्हाट नेक्स्ट वी हैव ग्रेजुएटेड this is the grand finale. But as you all may be aware, only the first step was difficult, stepping outside your comfort zone, which you guys have already taken. So now the onward possibilities are endless in MILT. Because MILT is just not any other course which you just do and forget about. It gives us so many platforms and avenues for continuous growth and personal fulfillment. You must have become aware of these platforms. Just to brush you up, we have a loving abode for children, Snehalia. You can become involved there, commit your time. There is a milled residential school in Bihar called Similtala. Take, take your time, go and visit. I am sure you will return a different individual. Then, there is opportunities for spiritual growth through satsang meetings and spiritual retreats. And of course, there are alumni and convention to nurture your leadership capabilities and your competitive spirit. For those of you who may not be knowing, Kolkata chapter is hosting a convention this year. Convention is hosted once every two years. It is a multi-city, three-day mega event. Just be a part of it and it will be a life-changing experience, my friends. I can promise you that. As, and of course, I forgot to mention, we have two growth clubs in Kolkata. 
these growth clubs meet every month. There is meetings, food, adda. It fosters bonding among the members. It gives fuel to our soul. And of course, it keeps us focused in the right direction. As Dani had rightfully said in the alumni meet, which you all must have uh, heard and remembered, that it is not milt which needs us. It is we who need milt. My best wishes to each one of you sitting here today, that as you continue to evolve and grow, one day you will reach that stage when milt will need you. Let us be focused. Enjoy the journey together, my friends. Looking forward to an amazing and wonderful time with each one of you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, George, for sharing your words. We will now call upon our chief guest, a person who has been in milled for over two decades, a very important individual who has just not been in milled, but has been an extremely generous contributor. He's been the president of MILT previously of the Kolkata chapter and has taken up several responsibilities for social work and initiatives. He's an extremely successful man, a happily married man to Miltonian Manbir Jabbal, Jabbal sorry, and, to, and is a father of two beautiful daughters. Please put your hands together for Miltonian Jagir Singh Jabbal. Good evening, friends. Thank you, Satru, to speak to the 21 new graduates. Because this opportunity doesn't come easily, <laughs> you know. It's an important day on which you have shared your happiness at having completed a wonderful course. So first and foremost, I'd like to share a little more than our president has already shared with you on the same lines. You know, we have uh, a structure that has been put in place by Operesh because he wanted MILT to continue. Now, you'll be wondering, like I was wondering, that if I have done a course, what is there that needs to continue? But therein lies a huge gap. I'm calling it a gap because that's what it has become. Until and unless the 21 of you today just give me a year and understand what I mean by that. Before I explain, I would first like to convey to you that time and again you will hear about Operesh being a lovely trainer. But today on behalf of MILT, I would like to convey my heartiest gratitude to your trainer and the accredited trainer of MILT because Operesh from this very dais has said that the best trainer in the world to do the MLC program is none other than Daniel Jacob. <clears throat> he designed the program. He created the program. And he was not able to find anybody suitable to continue the training. Eventually, he gave permission for the course to be continued and thank God for that. We have a lovely trainer who meets operation standards of living a life, of being upright, of being committed, of being honest, and of being a most humble human being. I'm sure all of you have experienced these fine qualities in Danny. Today, what he has imparted or completed is a training program, which all of us have done. So today, we are equals in the sense that this is the highest graduation that MILT offers, the MLC program. So while being equal in our learning, now I come to the gap, what happens is, that beyond this learning, there's a lovely line Operesh told us many times over. He said, knowing is not doing. I'm sure you've heard this line from Danny. Knowing is not doing. Doing is doing. Please say that line to yourself 
many times you will remember the card you will remember the course you'll remember the cards you'll remember the course now why did he say this see i want to ask you all today you have completed the course what you should have experienced i don't know how many of you did you should have experienced a realization an inner awakening when you spoke here many of you did express that it was transforming but that transformation has been communicated by you today on this dais when you collected the certificate but that has to stay and for that to stay operesh created entities within milt milt is not one of those huge ngos or social organizations it is a very simple place you know believe it or not everything that happens in milt is in pursuit of training it's all in pursuit of training the training that you got by way of doing the mlc is being continued by way of living the milt way so now we are talking about the milt way i will explain to you in what i could understand from operesh i've got very senior miltonian sitting here i've got a gentleman here who took me to shimultala for the first time me and manbir many many years back many committed people are there in milt right some of us have been serving in various forums now what he said he said snehalaya is not a place where you help anybody you don't go there and help children who are uh, you know destitute we call it a home for destitute children it's not a home for destitute children it is a place where we have the privilege of experiencing the best of what our training should have taught us what do we learn at snehalaya firstly we learn selfless love you know when you go to meet those kids they don't care a damn for the favors you do they'll give you nothing in return are you able to love them that's what you go to snehalaya for are you able to selflessly love children who will never ever be able to pay back but actually you know in life also we never ever pay back our parents it's quite the same this is a forum for learning snehalaya teaches you contribution again contribution well drive all the way spend time with the children teach them something if they need to learn something to do with studies if they need learn to learn to speak if they need to learn to play with a toy well they don't have parents you are welcome go ahead train them snehalaya teaches you constructiveness there is ample scope for you to do whatever you want there so many positive activities you can take up at snehalaya and do them snehalaya teaches you how to be effective being a miltonian we are never ever supposed to put in our time doing things which have no results it teaches you to be effective snehalaya teaches you to be efficient snehalaya teaches you self improvement you know self improvement again in milt we say today is my best my best is yet to come because as human beings every day we learn today's learning should make us better for tomorrow what i am basically trying to tell you is operesh set up these forums for us to continue our learning this comes for free provided you are able to get the point we have a school running at shimultala that school is a school for these snehalaya children to go to and continue their studies now at that school which is a lovely picturesque place shimultala is known to be a nice place we have a few children there but there's a whole residential school running there are miltonians who are contributing there with all sincerity to keep that place running one set of miltonians another set of miltonians i would like to today share with you besides that very recently a project which operesh started in a small way he wanted to help the little 
children of the villages around Shimultala. There are around 15 villages. Manbir 15? There are around 15 villages around Shimultala. Now those villages have children who would never possibly study. They would not study. They don't even know the worth of studying. Neither do their parents understand. Now those children have been encouraged to come to school attracted with a little food. Now Apre started by giving them bun and milk so that they came to school. The point is, if you go there, those children are anybody's children. Why are they there? And why the hell are you there? Well, figure out. Figure out. That's the training you can achieve. So, at Shimultala, that school has got something like 250 children now. And they are being provided for by MILT. MILT is a small entity, few people. Where does the money come from? Well, there are people who understand that this is worth doing. I suppose that's what it is. So these entities, Snehalia, Shimultala, then have actually been put in place so that we can continue to experience the good values that we should have learned through this course. Right? So I'm sharing this with you today because I would look forward to you Miltonians using these forums. I am not saying giving your kind help to these forums. Not at all. Even Operesh told us to go to hell. He said, I don't need anyone. I'm good enough. He used to contribute his whole training fees to run these institutions. So I'm telling you, it is most worthwhile. If you are interested in the Snehalia, we've got Rajesh Agarwal, a trustee here, who has given a lot of energy there. There are other trustees as well. You can get in touch with him. You are most welcome to involve yourself. You wish to participate in any activity to do with the primary school or the residential school, Manbir is an admin. She heads the admin of that school. She'll be more than happy to find a role for you. A Miltonian came all the way from Dubai. Another gentleman who Danny had trained. He gets only some 22 days annual leave. And he spent five of those days at Shimultala. He met his mother at Coimbatore, left his bag and said, Mom, I'll be back. Two days with his mother, five days in the school. And he was delighted to go to serve people who neither knew him nor did he know them. Right? So having said all this, I would like to conclude by telling you that there are a lot of things you would have learned. You will remember them as you live your life. Each of those cards have got so much wealth in them. But as a Miltonian, right, we are supposed to discover our passion. I hope that happens to you. You discover your passion and a Miltonian does not live a mediocre life. Mediocrity is not the middle name of a Miltonian. A Miltonian discovers his passion, then lives his life with excellence. You put excellence into what you do. There's a little catch. We do everything in the service of God. I am not giving a holy sermon here. This service of God is very simple. We do not work for the rewards that come from what you do. That's all. In service of God means we are not working for any reward, either for ourselves or for someone. We are doing it to give our best. And when you give your best, it is always in the service of God because that happens to be your purpose in life. There are some forums to continue the feelings, the purposes of this whole, uh, uh, let us say, uh, community. We have got an alumni. Each president puts in a lot of effort to run the alumni month after month. An alumni is an opportunity to rehearse whatever you have done in this MLC course. It's a wonderful opportunity. You need to go up on stage and speak and keep yourself in proper shape. It is like a tuning you do in a motor garage. So come for the alumni. Growth Club, you heard about it. Well, Growth Club is an extended knowing game for life. You need to be a married person. And along with your spouse, you will experience what you have experienced in your knowing game and much, much more. All right. 
I'll conclude by telling you one forum which a few Miltonians land up involving themselves with. It is a forum with a difference. It is a satsang. Yes, the name is satsang. Satsang is known to all of you because in India there are lots of satsangs. Operations satsang required three rules to be followed. So unless you followed those rules, Operation wouldn't take you into the satsang. They're very simple rules. You have to be honest. Honest means honest. There are no ifs, buts, and, you know, let us say, percentages to that honesty. Honest. You should not yield to any unethical temptations. Right? And thirdly, you will not falsify. So these three tenets a satsangi is supposed to observe. So Sunday when you meet, if you have committed a fault on any three scores, you have to tell the other satsangis almost like a confession in a Catholic church. It's very sim similar. All right. With that, I would like to share with you that even I have my best friends in MILT. And that is the reason and purpose for me being a very happy person. Welcome to MILT and you are the alumni of MILT. You'll get a letter from our head of IT, Abhay Sopti, who is also the convention chairman. Welcome to MILT. Thank you. And I'm sure we all will follow um, his ideas and make MILT a greater place to be in. Now I would like to call upon stage our Joint Secretariat, uh, Miltonian Sunita Agarwal to share a few words with all of us. Good evening Miltonians and guests. Let me begin first by congratulating and welcoming all the new Miltonians, certified Miltonians to the Milt fraternity. Let's give you all a huge round of applause. Your MILT course must have end, ended today, but what lies ahead is a ro big road, which you have heard enough from our president and our chief guest. So I'll not continue that. With that words, let me begin first by thanking our chief guest for the evening, Miltonian Jagir Singh Jabbal. It's always an honor and pleasure having it with us. Thank you, Jagir Ji. Next, I would like to thank our president of the Milt Kolkata chapter, Miltonian Pooja Bajaj. She gave us an empowering talk, isn't it? Yeah. Next, I would like to congratulate and thank the secretary of the Milt MLC 46 badge, Miltonian B.D. Surana. I am, I am sure under his leadership and guidance, Milt MLC 46 will reach new heights. Yeah. I would like to thank the MC for the evening, Miltonian Satrupa. She did an amazing job, isn't it? Yeah. And last but not the least, I would like to thank our trainer, Miltonian Daniel Jacob, who out of his busy schedule always comes to Calcutta to create difference in the lives of so many people. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And today, as I stand here as a proud Miltonian, I would like to extend my thanks to all the Miltonian and guests present for the evening and making this evening a grand success. Let's celebrate for all of us. Thank you, thank you all. The f to the end of the first part of the grand finale, it's time for dinner and we've all received a coupon, so please produce it during, uh, while taking a plate at the counter. Post dinner, please carry your desserts for the second part of the grand finale, which is a cultural program to be conducted by MLC 46 participants. But here in MILT, nothing comes for free. We need to earn it. I will ask all of you a question, and in response, you will answer Gup Shup. G U P. Okay, my question will be what time is it? And the response to it will be Gup Shup, which is G-U-P-S-H-U-P. Are you all ready? Yes! What time is it? Gup We can all go to the counter and enjoy the delicious dinner served for us. Yes.